Second by second, you lose the opportunity to become the person you want to be. I am the greatest. Empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless, like water. Now, you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now, water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. Yo, what's up? It's your boy, Sean Fit, and I'm back with another one. If you rock with me like I rock with you, then use your best punch and hit that subscribe button for me real quick. Cause there's no days off till it pay off. A day off is a day lost. Let's get it. Yo, so this is a good drill to work on timing, um, put body position and footwork, straight punches, combination punches, uh, just being on the outside of your person's punches. So like this is a body shot, right? This is a straight shot, you know what I'm saying? You can look at it, you can block hooks too, pitch your hook, roll up on the hooks or whatever. So from the straight shots to the face, to the chest, slipping outside, inside, so you're working at it. I like the slip that's really minimum. You know what I'm saying? I don't need to do a deep slip. If I do, I'm really turning my head, turning my punch, right? If I do, I'm really turning my head, turning my punch. But I'm trying to slip this enough. That, this punch could have hit my face because I got my hand up. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. boom, boom, boom. Boom. Back up to touch this one. Boom. You know, then for the body shots, I do the same thing. It's like I'm never dropping my hands to um, block a body shot. I'm never doing this. You see boxers do that, but that's a very risk. It's called risk management, I like to call. Um, I like using boxing, eliminating, eliminating the risk of getting hit. So even though you're blocking a shot here, you open yourself up. So I like to block on my elbows or keep my core tight. So if it do slip through, it hits my core, my abs. That's why you do a lot of ab work. Boom, boom or you can just evade back. So I'm, I'm not dropping my hands, I'm boom, <laughs> angles. You know what I'm saying? Boom, boom, block, block. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, see what I'm saying? Boom, elbow down, boom, block. Hand up, block. Turn the shoulder, block. Same thing for this, block. on timing, works on positioning, footwork, um, keep it conditions your legs, your core, your mind, um, reflexes. So it's a great drill to try. Let's get it. It's not just receiving a lot of money or receiving a belt. I can retire today. I'm well off, very comfortable. But I got the will to win. I'm out there at 4 or 5 in the morning, working, to this day. As I think back, when I was a child, every day, I would come home and watch every legendary champion. It wasn't one fighter I wanted to be like. Some days I wanted to fight like Leonard. Another day I want to fight like Hagler. But then I want to be a killer like Mike Tyson. I said I'm going to take a little bit from every one of them and put it all in one box and shake it up and see what we come up with. And when I say TBE, it's no disrespect to no legendary champion. Every fighter that's in this room has to feel that he's the best. If not, you in the wrong sport. Ooh, shit. My goal in life. So I grab a yoga mat. Do some stretching, loosen up my hips, my arms, my shoulders. The camera right there, man. Just, you know, take time.
time out to take care of yourself, yo. For real, for real, man. I'm gonna put in that work today. I feel good, man, about how far I done came. All the work I done put in over the years. You know, I'm not exactly where I wanna be at, but I'm like a lot better off than I could have been. So, I gotta find my, my crossbar. This is key, man. If y'all can find a double lacrosse ball, save your life, yo. For real. It's like a... Sides on the go. So first I just loosen up my shoulders. Put it right under there. My shoulders are always tight. When I first started boxing, man, when I first started like really boxing, I used to throw a lot of arm punches, right? So my shoulders got tight and then like doing shoulder workouts the wrong way, messed up my shoulders too. So it's just hitting that muscle under there. Set it right in between and roll. It hurts. In between here, up into the net, too. It feels so good. It's so deep though, but it feels good. Stretch the arms up so you can get that full rotation and get that muscle popping out. I'll do the other side. Same thing, really hit it. You know, cause these muscles tight, these are the muscles that gotta extend, get that full extension on your punch, man. Them tight, they ain't pulling, I mean, they not extending all the way, they not firing the way they supposed to, so you gotta loosen them up. This one, it really hurts right here. Jeez. Ah, come on. Ah. You gotta do this, I gotta do this more often. So if I'm training every day, I gotta spend a lot of time working on myself, you know, self-care. Now I gotta do my hips, you know, stretch out everywhere. So I'll just knock this out and then we're gonna get to it. Let's go. Stay prepared for whatever you prepare to be. You need a 
stay, I'm never scared, this whatever man, I can't lose, I'm out to be the best, so I could be the best, but even better cause, every second I'm perfecting to perfection, ain't no limits, no excuses, second guessing, all I know is hard work, dedication, all I know is hard work, about two minutes from the gym, kid. In half a mile, make a U turn. Just pulled up to the gym, it's showtime. Showtime, showtime. I'm ready to work. Y'all see that nice Texas sun? It ain't too hot, but it's nice and sunny out. So, it's grind time. Went to the gym earlier, got warmed up, you know. I had to leave a little early because coach, uh, my coach, he said 10.30 instead of 11.30 in the gym an hour away from my crib. So, I'm feeling good though. Last time I was a little dizzy, man. I don't know if it was something I ate or what, or is it how hot the gym was, but I was dizzy as hell, man. And they're sparring uh, six to eight rounds, man, just dizzy. So I know if I ain't feeling dizzy today, if I can, I'm able to be sharp, it's a wrap, man. I'm finna put on, put on the show. I'm finna try to do, throw like 50 to 100 punches around. You know, really put that pressure on them. You know, offense, defense, you know, hit and not get hit, the whole shebang. But mostly I'm trying to get them ready for a fight. So it ain't about me, you know what I'm saying? But I gotta be sharp, I gotta go hard, you know? I gotta make them feel, you know? Every look, give them all them different looks. Put that work on them. Feeling good though, man. That's my car, y'all see the gear. Let's get it, man. Yo, man, let's get it. Post bar. You know, today was a good day. I put in some hard work. Uh, yeah, definitely sharp today, super sharp, you know? I felt good in there, I felt strong, I felt sharp, I felt accurate, you know what I'm saying? It was some good work. I think we went around with like five, six rounds again today. Gotta go again uh, next, next Wednesday, early in the morning. But you see, you see my cheekbones, man, that's how hard I've been working. That's how hard I've been in the gym working, man. I dropped all kind of weight, then leaned out. Jab looking good. My angles looking good. My power shots, I'm able to switch up. You know the difference between like my style and a lot, a lot of other fighters is that I got like 50 different fighters programmed in my head. So I can switch up a style any second, any round. You know, I got, I study Tank. I study Tiafimo Lopez. I study... Vasily Lomachenko, I study Canelo, I study Charlo Brothers, I study everybody, yo, Muay Thai fighters, like Bruce Lee, everybody, I got all this stuff programmed in my head, I'm such a muscle memory person, I learn so fast, I, I, watch, I watch and observe so much that I learn so fast like that, I can see somebody doing it and I can figure them out, and I can make an adjustment, you know what I'm saying? I just sparred people that have fought all over the world, bro, and take it. I don't got a lot of experience at all, barely any. The only thing I got is what I do when that y'all see on YouTube. Like, I train in the gym, I study, I learn how to hit and not get hit. So if you got a jab, how to counter a jab, how to defend against a jab, how to not get let the jab hit me. You know, I do stuff like that. How to throw my jab a million different ways, how to fake a jab, what to throw off the jab, how to throw body shot. Like I, I studied the whole ins, the whole game inside and out, foot placement, you know, balance, night and day I study. So I got all these fighters programmed in my head. I got all these techniques. I got all these maneuvers in my head without the experience of fighting in the actual ring. And when I come up, come up against fighters that actually have experience, I outthink them, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like chess. 
you know my jab, I'm not gonna throw the jab the same way every time, you know what I'm saying? So it's a beautiful thing, the sweet science, man. I, I, it's, I love going against a challenge and testing myself because I'm super competitive. I'm very competitive. So when I, if I struggle against you, you know, like say I, I would gassed out or you would just hit me with major, a lot of combinations, you know, you knock me down from a body shot, from a face shot. When I go back in the gym, I'm computing all of that, I'm computing all of that. And next time, you're not gonna hit me with the same shot, I promise you. You're not gonna catch me in the body. You're not gonna catch me in the chin, you know? And I'm gonna work you. I'm gonna prepare, my abs gonna be tighter, my defense gonna be tighter, sharper. It's just a whole different game plan, man. Um, I wish I could have recorded the sparring, but uh, you know, out of respect for my team, my bro that's getting ready for his fight on the, what is it, the uh, 25th of this month, something like that. You know, we ain't trying to record that. We working, man. We just putting in work. We got to help him get ready, bro. That's why I'm bringing it. I'm going hard so he can go hard. Whoever he go against ain't ready because I'm making sure I bring it every single round. I did better today than last time, and next time I'm going to do even better than today. So let's get it, man. Thank y'all for tuning in. Um, no days off till the payoff, a day off is a day lost. Let's get it. On my way to a million subscribers, ain't no stopping. I just got to show my love and appreciation to everybody that's watching. So if you subscribe, give me a thumbs up or even drop something in the comments. When I hit a million, I'm giving a million back to the people who have my back. That's my word. That's my promise. Let's go. No days off till the payoff. Let's get it.